the jewel in the crown of rugby league grounds right round the world Suncorp Stadium the aerial view and zooming down a capacity crowd magnificent stadium which comes with this amazing and intimidating atmosphere it is overwhelming really intoxicating maybe mystifying and intriguing for those in other parts of the world and adored and irresistible to the Maroons of Queensland and embraced by those brave enough to display their love of the blues north of the border an event often described as interstate rivalry or is it simply one where brothers become enemies three times a year my chance to say hello and welcome everybody to the coverage of the 98th origin game coming to you with a crowd of around 52,000 people here in the northern capital queensland australia and brisbane and so paul gallon is about to take the new south wales blues out they won game one can they end the dynasty right here, right now, tonight in Queensland? It's not an easy thing to do. And this, this reception is not going to be all that welcoming. Here they come. that he knew was unavoidable public enemy number one north of the tweed now the queenslanders have been already pumped by former origin hero the man that made queenslander famous for many many years to come and tonight they they brought him back billy moore and he's had the crowd basically these beck and call urging them to give them the roar of Queenslander when they come through the tunnel behind Cameron Smith. Both he and Paul Gatlin captaining for the eighth time. This will be an almighty reception for Queensland. champions it's already been one of the great sporting achievements of all time in Australian sport will it be dismantled tonight or will the ultimate decision be kept for Sydney in three weeks time so the players lining up for the national anthem it is here in Brisbane that the stats emphasize just how hard it is for any New South Wales side to win to say it requires a Herculean effort would be an understatement the Blues have taken a 1-0 lead to this city seven times and have won only once in 33 years. Tonight, on the shoulders of this man, Paul Gallon, and his fellow Blues, they've got the chance to do it for the second time. Now for the National Anthem. Greece, the number one party musical, will open at Brisbane's Lyric Theatre on August 20, with seasons in Sydney and Melbourne to follow. To perform the Australian national anthem tonight is one of the lead cast members, Gretel Scarlett.
play Sandy in the Grease musical, opening at Brisbane's Lyric Theatre on August 20. So Gretel Scarlet, dressed appropriately tonight. There she is in that fabulous musical. So the Maroons playing here have that imposing record. The Blues have only won 17 times north of the Tweed River. Ray, I think you undersold Paul Gallen from the reception. I don't think he's just public enemy number one. I think he's two, three, and four as well. I love game two. Always so much riding on this. And we've got good condition tonight. A little bit of dew out there, so it's, it's a touch slippery. But we're in store for a really positive performance tonight from both sides in good conditions. Last time Queensland lost games one and two was a decade ago. So what's it to be? Is this the start right, of the end of the dynasty? Or is it just the continuation? We will know in about 80 minutes from now as the Blues starts Origin 2 in front of 52,000 at Suncourt. Moran's with the first use of the football, electing to be that team. Nate Miles is with it. And he'll play the ball just inside his own 20 metre line. Corey Parker at the back of the scrum tonight in the run on side. Reaching the 30 metre line with their second play. Friday, the ball is lost, was it breaks? Penalty. Penalty from the whistle of Shane Hayne. More than one in the tackle, and he's declared it a steal. Brings the joy out in the Queensland crowd to get that first penalty. Here it is. Yeah, a little bit of pushing and shoving at the end of that as well. James Maloney, the man ruled to have dislodged the football He's illegally. So a very different start to what we saw three weeks ago. Queensland immediately on the attack. Scott takes it forward. So Matthew Scott from Longreach. Plays the ball in Sam Friday. And Townsville takes it down the right side towards the 10 metre line they go and Cronk works with Thurston. Thurston got the ball away the big Greg. And Inglis plays it. They come back to the middle and Cronk goes back on the inside and Miles is picked up and dropped by Luke Lewis in particular with Greg Bird. Now for Cronk, goes to Friday. They're going to make it. Friday's in to score. First try of the night. Samuel Friday. The Broncos captain has scored. And it took under two minutes. And the crowd, they, well, they were pumped before kickoff. And after a start like that from their team, they are having an absolute ball early on. Penalty going against New South Wales. And then a nice set play on both sides of the field. You can see the New South Wales defence drawn in by the decoy and that opened up a hole on the outside and quite a big one for Sam Friday to race through. Wonderful work from the home team. Broncos captain, week in and week out, took over the job from Darren Lockyer. And that's his third origin try. The very likable Sam Friday. Sam Friday has scored his third origin try. And a memorable start to yet another origin. Robbie Ross scoring in the first 60 seconds from memory. And Sam Friday getting across at the second minute. Jonathan Thurston hunting down records as he goes through another origin match tonight. Conversion of the try by Friday. So Queensland leads 6 0. And Jonathan is 20 behind Mal Meninga as the highest point scorer ever at origin level. Well, let me tell you, Ray, that Sam Friday kicked that door down. He had three runs at the same hole leading up to this. Finally, they set up perfectly, and there he is. They didn't want any part of him close to the line. A yawning gap right on your own try line. 
in between Jennings and I think it was Pierce. And Sam Thiday, well, as I said, he kicked that door down. I thought the best part of the play was Jonathan Thurston actually angling back to the blind. It was a dummy run, but fooled the New South Wales defence. And Wally Lewis with us in commentary in the broadcast box with Phil Gould and Peter Sterling. Oh, Queenslander picked up and spun into the ground. It was Brent Tate on the end of it. For a moment, it might have been a dangerous position, played by Scott now. And here is Parker going through the ruck area. And that's where he's put down by Aaron Woods, together with Robbie Farrer. And they combined make up a record number of West Tigers players in an Origin match, which is quite strange. Here's the kick from Crump now. The chase from Slater is large. It's taken back there by Dugan. And then Dugan immediately taken by Slater. Dugan in his second Origin match. This is Morris, the winger, Brett. Ten metres out. Jennings dummy half. And Hodges wants a piece of him. Woods again now. The 22 year old youngest of the New South Wales players. Now for Gavin. Last tackle then for the Blues to clear. Mitchell Pierce sending it long and low. Picked up back there by Darius Boyd. I can tell you Billy okay, Slater hurt himself on that chase on Josh Durgan because he sent Brent Tate back to fullback. He couldn't get himself back to field that kick. Now he's getting in closer to the play the ball area. Whether he just winded himself and needed a little break. Hodges now. Just outside their own 40 metre line. And here is Parker and an offload. Well done, Miles. Thought he saw a gap back up the middle. That's where he went. And Woods is there with Farrell. To bring Nate Miles down, he won the most significant medals associated with Origin last year. The Ron McAuliffe and Wally Lewis medals. Robbie, Robbie, Lever. Just outside Mark the 40 metre line Mark there. Three. Played by Billy Slater. And now to Melbourne teammate Cooper Cronk. And it goes back and across and it goes in a touch in front of Nathan Merritt on the eastern side. He was going to kick high again, but late made a decision Cooper Cronk to just kick the field set. position and fine touch and this is a storm that New South Wales need to weather because at the Another moment the energy and the enthusiasm yeah. is is abundant from the Maroons the last time New South Wales brought it out from their own line they picked up 30 meters and struggled to do so uh, this is a, a stage of the game they've conceded six they've got to hang in now the scrum back in the southeastern corner and Greg Bird taken to ground mainly by Sam Friday now Ryan Hoffman made against mate and stayed against state he's, he's lost the ball according to the referee Thurston 25 out Matt Scott is limping in back play English for miles so here comes Queensland again Smith, dummy to Parker, behind Scott, Cronk, Friday, loves this avenue. Slater, one-handed pick up in the dark to the right, but it's a penalty to Queensland. That's an easy one, that's an easy one. Okay, were they no doubles? Well, they are really stretching the blues. Yeah, and going at James Maloney, which is where they had success earlier with Friday. Jonathan Thurston comes up, a sign that he is fine. He didn't kick in Sydney, he allowed Cameron Smith to take over with the groin restriction that he had. I think you'll find there was a strip in the changeover of possession there, but they got away with it. That's what you do. Wally, what do you think of this decision to kick for a goal? I mean, they've got New South Wales stretched here, but they're going to go for the two points. They're a little bit surprised by it. Uh, obviously, the Queenslanders believe if they get it past a converted try lead, It'll uh, increase their confidence and may uh, uh, deny New South Wales a little bit, but if it misses, it's a painful one. 26 consecutive game for Jonathan Thurston. Now, when Thurston elected to kick for goal, I saw Paul Gallen clapping. 
clapping his teammates. So I think the Blues are happy that he's having the shot. There he goes. That's the angle that he's got, and Thurston hits the paintwork, but it bounces through. 8-0 then. Is there a hint of omen in the fact that it hits the upright and bounced in? Well, Queensland spoke all week about their disappointment with their start in Game 1. They felt that they gave the Blues the momentum and the advantage early and weren't able to rest it back for them. So the Blues knew this was coming. They knew that there would be an onslaught early. But this has taken them by surprise. 8-0 down in a very short space of time. So the kickoff to restart is a, a lofted kick and it is Matt Scott who brings it back. He'll play the ball 15 metres out from his own line. Queen running the dummy, which led to Miles being tackled just outside the 20-meter line. Cameron Smith to Corey Parker this time, and he's run at Ryan Hoffman, who might have been a tad unlucky when that uh, play was allowed to go back down that other end of the ground. This kick is raking across. Brett Morris will have to be marked urgent. He is, and Tate came down together with Cronk. Way back near the New South Wales line is Dugan. And that was just third tackle from Cameron Smith. After scoring points, get the ball down the other end of the field and muscle up in defence. And that's what they're doing now on Nathan Merritt. Three tackles gone, 10 metres out from their own line. The Blues under siege. For Nathan Merritt, who would be, I trust, the pride of Redfern, making this maiden... Voyage into Origin Territory tonight. The wait has been long. Played by Hoffman. Now for Pierce. And off his own 20 metre line, he kicks down to Boyd, who marks it back on his own 30 metre line. And Boyd, taken by the Blues, just on his own side of halfway by Mitchell Pierce, mainly. His take now with the ball. Move forward! Hold there, hold there. Parker taking a blindside run. Move. Eight nil then in favour of Queensland. Hold, hold. With Thide scoring at the second minute. And Thurston kicking a conversion and a penalty. And Scott threw it out the back on purpose and Wood. Uh, He's ruled knocked on. Yeah, he or he's ruled knocked on by New South Wales, obviously. He played at this Aaron Woods. Well, right at the moment, it's a case of welcome to Lang Park. The crowd is at absolute fever pitch. And for any of the Blues players who haven't been here, and even those that have in the past, this is the cauldron atmosphere. This is everything that Origin was built on. What we're experiencing here right now. The Blues have got to hold on here. Thurston, taken by Josh Morris, who was... So very good in defence in Origin 1. Now McQueen, youngster from South Sydney. In the run on side tonight, Nate Miles. 15 away. Cameron Smith to Jonathan Thurston. And he did a complete 360. He had Inglis and McQueen left and right. Now for Cronk of his right foot. And goes straight ahead. Down there by Farrah. Smith then, Jinx, Jinx, and uh, unloads. Thurston, 25 out from the line. He puts a kick in this time. It's gone towards Hodgson. He bats it back down, knocked on by Tate. Well, that was read by. You got a penalty. Penalty. Penalty against Michael Jennings. Where's Michael? Well, this is Jennings on Thurston, apparently. He goes to hit on the kicker. OK, penalty's here. That's the penalty call. Let's get on with the game. Wow, I wonder what Michael Jennings was doing all that way in field. That's 40 metres away from where he was defending. He's raced all the way over there. And I imagine they're saying that's a shade high, but it's a big penalty at this stage because New South Wales have done well 
to defuse that attacking raid. Here come the Maroons again. This is relentless. Scott. Smith, Parker, and Corey Parker to play the ball. As you can see, a couple of metres out from the New South Wales goal line. Space out wide. And it is Smith and in the thigh day with the big dummy. And crawling towards this line that he's become very affectionate to. Smith along, pass out to Trump. Now to Thurston, he puts in a little kick, did he not? Now it's come back to Cross. Six more tackles, said the referee. Back foot, back foot here, Aaron Lay. Queensland apply, applying immense pressure. Thurston for Miles now. Aaron to stand up. Marcus Ray. Nate Miles, the number 10. Parker, Parker looked at the line over, and that's a miracle save. Come off. Hold up on tackle two. That is an incredible save James, James. on Corey Parker. He was about to put that down. Lovely sleight of hand from Cameron Smith. Parker's in, he's about to put it down, and there's an arm over the top there. Paul Gallen. just drags it away. Paul Gallen. Brilliant stuff in defence there. So here they come. And it's Slater into the back line. Inglis is with the ball, but Morris is with Inglis. Mitchell Pierce over there. And now it's back to McQueen. And Chris playing the ball. Three metres out from the line. To Thurston. Now Kronk. Out to Hodges. And Hodges unloading. Five days there. Kicks in behind. And cleaned up by Brett Morris. Well, they're doing everything right. A completion rate, Queensland, 10 from 10. Very little football so far for New South Wales. And Billy Slater was flying through. He wanted a kick from Jonathan Thurston. Well, it came later in the play off the boot of Sam Thiday, who dribbles it in, and Morris had no alternative. Well, if you're wondering what perfect football looks like, you're watching it in maroon jumpers at the moment. And Kronk healing the ball or just shinning the ball to ground before giving it to Miles. Yeah, having said all that, they've only scored the one try. I mean, if the Blues can repel them here and then get the ball and get it to the other end, it will have been a good period for them as well. Now the 14 is about to come into the game for Fita. Andrew, Greg Inglis, taken by Nathan Merritt. Now from Slater back to Thurston, Thurston on to Smith, and Smith holds it up and goes himself. Just hasn't got the nippiness to get through. Slater long, Kronk behind one, Thurston double pump, here they go again. Darius Boyd scores another try. That's a try in the last five Origin games for Darius Boyd and his 11th Origin try. And it's a brilliant pass. Jonathan Thurston, they tucked down there two plays earlier. Nathan Merritt came up with a very strong tackle on Greg Inglis. Well, this time the New South Wales defence came up. Thurston waited and then got the ball in between and in behind to Darius Boyd for their second. Well, nobody knows how to, to finish a, a rugby league move as well as this man. Certainly not at, at this level. If wingers are the finishers, then this man is just about the best. 11 origin tries for him now. And one in the last five origins. So the Newcastle fullback giving us a wonderful illustration of the depth of Queensland. Slater in one, Boyd can play one, Inglis can play one, Barber could play one, so could Bowen. Stop it, he said. But there is Darius Boyd, a fullback, winger, winger, fullback, scoring his 11th Origin try and consecutive tries in the last five Origin games. 
it was a brilliant pass from Jonathan Thurston. I think Nathan Merritt has come up two or three times to get in the face of Greg Inglis in the opening stages here. And he went up just one time too many because Thurston sweated on it, dummy to Inglis, waited for Merritt to come forward and then got it behind his back to Merritt's opposite number. Here's the kick from Jonathan Thurston. And what a kicker. What a kicker. Three goals tonight. Now he's 16 behind Mal's record. Darren Lockyer on the sideline. Yeah, JT's on tonight. You felt the Queenslanders needed to get a reward for such their dominance. And look at that pass. Nathan Merritt made me a little jumpy on debut. But he still had to sum it up, Thurston. He summed it up perfectly. Ex perfectly executed. And Mal's happy with that. And you see on the Harvey Norman replay. Let's go, Queensland. Well, we've still got a long way to go here, but it is party time. And from memory, that is the lead that New South Wales established three weeks ago. 14-0 and one they took into half time. One. Big body go. confrontation yeah, there with Matthew Scott, the ball carrier, Greg Bird. This is the front tackler. This is Parker. Okay, James, James, let him up now. Mark straight. And he played nine origin games. Corey Parker. Five day, played to Hodges, and here he goes, straight up the middle, Justin Hodges, brilliant to the halfway. Well, James Maloney's going to have seen Five Day stud marks all up his chest when he gets home tonight because Five Day is just zeroing in on him the whole time, and that time Hodges backed it up. The Blues cannot stop the relentless nature of this Morona sold at the moment. Maloney had just got up from being trampled by Friday. Hodges made a beeline for him, knocks him over again, and forces his way in behind them. Primary objective for Queensland at the moment is the speed of their play, the balls. It's just not allowing New South Wales defence to get back into water. So here's Miles. Smith and Friday standing on the short side. Right move! Right. Tackle count 107 to 27. Smith again. Out to Crunk. He goes to the middle. Then the first and then to Inglis, then to Slater, and it's gone over the sideline. Oh, that was fancy stuff. Yeah, look, it was a lovely play, again playing on Nathan Merritt coming in off his wing. Just watch the way they drag Merritt away from the sideline. It's a set piece. The ball will go out the back. Long ball. Pop it out the back. There's Merritt in off his wing. Unfortunately, Darius Boyd had overrun the potential pass. So the young rookie, teammate of Greg Inglis, is the target at the moment. We had to wait 20 minutes and 40 seconds for Maroon's first mistake. But that was it. 4-0, the penalty count as well. But when you've got the ball, you will get more penalties. Greg Bird. And now a young Fafita. Hoping to put a bit of ginger into the New South Wales attack, although they haven't really had many opportunities. Come to think of it, here's Lewis. Man of the match in Mate, Origin 1. Played then by Luke Lewis and Farrah. Goes short into Gallon and the opposite captain, Cameron Smith, come off second best from the confrontation. Now to Maloney. And that, that kick is very high down towards Brent Tate. Batted back by Brett Morris. Picked up by Josh Dugan. Gets a kick on it. It goes into the end goal. In fact, it goes out on the full. That's turnover to Queensland, 20 metres out from their own line. They yeah, had plenty of time here, Maloney, to get a better place kick than that. It only just came down inches inside the touch line, and Queensland were able to allow the Blues just to fumble that out of, out of control. Matt Scott off now after an outstanding 22 and a half opening minutes. Ben Teo into the action. Brent Tate out of dummy half, just shy of his own 40. Thurston went running away to the left-hand side of the ground. I think he was looking for Greg Inglis, and Greg was saying, hang on a moment, I'm back here on the right-hand side. 
So Inglis starting to do a little bit of um, rovering around the place. Played then by Corey Parker. Now Cooper Cronk. Jonathan Thurston. And this is Chris McQueen. Taken down just outside the 30 metre line. Well, Inglis can do that because McQueen is out there as Thurston on the last. Kicks to the corner. And Dugan, a test. And a beautiful take by Josh Dugan. He'll play the ball on his own 10 metre line. Now for Nathan Merritt. And they are aiming much of their ammunition towards Nathan's corner. Akila Uwate would know exactly the feeling. And a penalty goes to the Blues. It's their first 4 1 the penalties in favour of the Maroons. Gallanoff. Brad Fittler on the ground. Brad? Yeah, boys, you're just humming at the tide turning. That's our first bit of life so far. Haven't had much. They've had to work out against a pretty good side. But they've got good clear eyes at the moment. There's no panic as yet. That's a pretty good sign. There it is from the man that's running the bottle. The great Brad Fittler. He said there's not a great deal of panic. In fact, no panickers. No panickers. They've just got to let the other the other team go off the boil and hang in and hang tough. Now Pierce back to Lewis. And Lewis will play the ball. Eight metres into opposition territory. Now Farron. He kicks out of dummy half. He kicks in behind the winger, Brent Tate, who slips back there in the end goal. Passes to Slater. All quite dangerous stuff. Slater plays it close to his own line. Hodges. Running from dummy half. Almost all the time. Did the same in the second half in Sydney. Tio. 20 metre line, his own end. They haven't seen much of it. Tate. Nate Miles had to duck. Cameron Smith. Corey Parker. Taken low by Maloney. Up the top by Farrah. Cronk kicks long into vacant vacant territory. It's rolling end on end. It might go dead. It might not go dead. Oh! He has waited and waited and waited and prayed. And it was a torpedo kick from that man, Cooper Cronk. You don't see a lot of them in the modern game. But there's plenty of volume to it. And it was nearly inch perfect. Josh Dugan. A few touches tonight. Comes up to the restart to get one. Bird. And looks like he might have a forearm around the throat, but it's allowed to go. It was Ben Teo. Now for Fita. Nice work. Farah pushes it on. Dugan. And Dugan crosses the halfway line. So the Dragons full back. And now Anthony Watmo with that hamstring injury. Necessitating that bandage you see on his left leg. Here's Pierce with some really smart footwork. Back it comes, and now it's Farah drifting across, giving it to Fafita. Former West Tigers player. Farah would have no hesitation in giving him a, a chance with the ball. Now Pierce kicking high down into Boyd's corner, knocked down by the Blues, and it's gone into touch. Well, that's the same thing again. A really poor fifth tackle kick from the Blues there, really gave themselves nothing to work with and Queensland were just allowing New South Wales to take it and fumble it and knock it in field and it diffuses itself very comfortably. There is a little bit on offer for the Blues though. In the couple of sets of six they've had, there are some little gaps around the edges that they can exploit if they get enough ball. 14 nil in favour of Queensland. The opening exchanges dominated by then, dominated by now, a near perfect performance. As this kicker sent Dugan scurrying away, it was inside the 40, and here comes Dugan, and he tries to splice through, and he almost does. And again, the tactic of Cameron Smith kicking out of dummy half, third tackle. Dugan did well to beat the front line, so it blew through merit now. Not bad field position on the back of that kick. They start to get a little bit more football. Completed now.
45 from his own line. He's putting, he's putting his name in the frame, isn't he, for Peter? Maloney away to Jennings, and Jennings almost pulls out of a tackle. He'll play it back to Brett Morris. Into Maloney at one, Farrah out at two, and here's Bird working it back. Tio in 15, Hodges four. And so the Blues with Farrah kicking out of dummy half, and it goes into touch. Well, 14 0, Queensland leading. Josh, Corey, need you to improve on that 10 metres. Come on. Yeah, just make sure you make it. So, just tip on. Good run, mate, good run. You're working hard, make sure you square it, Mark, all right, Luke. Back at uh, Suncorp Stadium. Packed. Absolutely packed to watch maybe the most publicised and talked about origin that I can remember anyway. And the penalty goes to Queensland. And it'll be relief for Queensland, but gee, I thought that was a wasted opportunity for the Blues. They had the opportunity to put the ball high or put it in behind the line to create doubt in the mind of the, of the players standing underneath it. The ball was simply put into touch. Wally, 14-0, 30 metres out. You can't be kicking for touch. Extraordinary. Jerry Evans about to come into the Origin Arena for the first time. Well, it's an interesting timing here. I was often wondering in the lead-up to this game where they would get Cherry Evans into the action. Let's see who he replaces. And ten minutes before half-time, with the Blues fatigued a little bit, he could be a real weapon. This is a Gillett. That's Corey Parker coming off. For the young man who's already played test football, Cameron Smith now finds Jonathan Thurston. So, Gillard again. Tackled on the 30 metre line. Cherry Evans away to the right at first receiver, but Cronk gets the, the call. The kick is through to Boyd. Boyd throws it back in field, but the touch judge has got the flag up. Well, if he could have got it to him on the full, and I'm sure that was the intention, that was another try to Queensland. They squeezed up the defence on the right-hand oh, side. That's why they squeeze him up. Merritt's off his wing again, and Boyd had to let that bounce, and he, he couldn't get it up into his hands. If he'd have got there on the full, he had plenty of open territory in front of him. Again, I would say that was a set piece. Right to the down, boys. Thanks to GIO, the... New South Wales right, origin jumpers have had the names of 10,000 Blues fans printed on the jersey numbers for games one and two. So for your chance to have your name on a New South Wales jumper and win tickets for game three, go to trustnewsouthwales.com.au. What's that? Just on that set piece that you were talking about, I noticed uh, when New South Wales got the penalty way down the other end, Greg Inglis having a yarn to Cooper Cronk and suggesting let's go back down to their right side. It is very welcoming down there. So, so giving the ball to Pierce and now to Farrah and Merrin is out there now as the ball bounces high for Slater to go to Tate. Well, they're being absolutely out kicks. And that's where New South Wales were very good in game one. Now, Robbie Farrah's not the player who should be kicking in general play unless he's a dummy half. As first points, Inglis gets rid of Merritt. So Greg Inglis in on his way. Outside 30 and 40. Goes to Boyd. Pierce goes across. Ball goes to ground. And it's play on. So they defuse something that was potentially... A try coming for the Maroons. Dugan then counter punches for New South Wales. And he gets it down to the halfway line. A good cover defending tackle there from Gillett as Merritt offloads. 
Now to Fafita on the fringe. Headman on his outside but straightens himself. Great run by Fafita. He's really put a few marks out there. A few indentations. That pass has gone away. Bouncing to Lewis. And a penalty goes New South Wales. No advantage he's calling. Offside, no advantage. Yeah. And as I said, there's a little bit on offer here for New South Wales. If they can just hold on to the ball and find the right pass. Queensland, flamboyant play from their own end of the field to get the ball to wingless. It was dangerous stuff, but exhilarating at the same time. Lewis down getting attention. I don't know whether we can go back and have a look at that spread of the ball. Watch this from their own end. Well, here's the, uh, the slap on the face to Lewis. They've already got a penalty. He's virtually lost that. Might have just caught the knee in the back of the head as yeah. he was falling. Here it is. They're saying they were offside down the short side. but uh, yep. There's no doubt what he was doing. Ashley Klein was playing an advantage. And New South Wales didn't get any advantage from it. Well, here's a real chance. Fafita taking it close. Here is Merrin. And Merrin falling so close to that line. Farrah for Maloney and Hoffman smashed into the ground. By the number seven. Comes out to Pierce. Go short into Lewis. Now the Blues. Deep inside Queensland territory. Pierce. What mode? Running into Scott. Last tackle here for the Blues. And it's Maloney with a little kick in. It's come off the hands of the Maroons. It's still alive and it's battered dead by Slater. So, line drop out Queensland. Well, they got the result in the end. I'm not sure it was the right kick for the occasion. You'd have been looking for a grubber kick into the end goal, but as it turns out, they were able to force the fumble and Slater gets a bad bounce and has to push it dead. So, line drop out here again for the Blues, who on the back a little bit of possession are just starting to grow a little in confidence. If they can score here and get it to 14-6, it won't feel so bad as they go to the sheds. Big set of six in defence for the Maroons. Cameron Smith with a line dropout that has travelled almost down to the halfway line. And here is Fafita again. He's been good. Oh, auspicious. Just his second game of origin. Now Hoffman doing battle against three. Superstars from Melbourne on the other side. Farrow goes on to Pierce behind Lewis on the Dugan. Morris knock on New South Wales. Just as it looked as though it was brewing into something. Now the Queenslanders are joyous. Yeah, probably a little bit too much sideways work there from New South Wales early on. That, that's the play you want to come up with after you've dented in the middle. But see here, the, new, the, the Queensland defence is already set. They're coming up. They just slide, slide. You go to that play when they're back on their heels and you, after you've, 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 you've hurt them in the middle. The new South Wales were targeting one man in particular. Uh, they were having a go at Jonathan Thurston the previous two times that they went to the right-hand side. We saw Luke Lewis charging at Thurston both times. He was used as a dummy runner on that occasion. Unfortunately, it didn't, uh, didn't go to plan. 14 to nil in favour of Queensland. But just listening to the commentary from Gus Gould, he's starting to think that the Blues are going to get back into this game. Tate, just outside the 30 metre line. All I'm saying is, Rabbit says an opportunity for them. Whether they do or not. I don't know, because Queensland are really up for this occasion. They're playing brilliant football, but there's a little bit on offer for the Blues if they can just hang in. Scott. Well, they had no territory. They had no football in the early part, so... Queensland had to build some points. They would have been disappointed had they not got out to this lead. And here they are, the Blues coming away with Morris. 
Brett Morris playing it to Mitchell Pearce. Now for Josh Dugan. And Dugan taken by Smith and Scott. Back a couple of metres. Now Merrin. These are the hard yards. These are the ones they get paid for, these blokes. Yeah, there's only a couple of minutes before the break. New South Wales have been disappointed at the other end. They've just got to be careful where they give Queensland the ball here because Queensland will not go soft on them if they get it in good field position. Pierce going long to the right side. Josh Morris is with the ball and he runs at Jonathan Thurston. He makes the tackle complete. Pierce. Kick going down to Slater. Be careful, he loves this. Tate, out of a tackle. Taken by the second. And that was Hoffman. Here's Cherry Evans. Two years and he's got a premiership. Played for Australia and now played for Queensland. Well done, Daly Cherry Evans. Rookie of the year, half of the year, I think he was, in 2011. On his maiden voyage. Crunk, that's McQueen from Kingaroy. Playback to Thurston, gone to Cronk. Goes back to the middle, and then a shrug, and away goes Jill at the 16. From Bribey Island. Playback to Smith, gone on to Cronk, outside, inside, to Slater. This is brilliant, Hodges can't hold it. It may have come up a New South Wales head. It's with Tio, but it's all called out by the referee is going forward oh wow you could have driven a truck through that gap back on the inside and Billy Slater I thought would take his opposite number on he elected to zig rather than zag Wally that was very close perfect perfect play they made it look like it was all the intention was to go up the middle of the ruck they went wide Is Morris. Go, Chris. Final seconds before the break. 14 nil. Friday at the second minute, Boyd at the 17th. And the Blues have managed to hold it at that. And much of it off the back of that man for Fita. Now Josh Morris. And the hooter has sounded. So that is half time. And uh, the scoreline indicative of the performance and the statistics that go with it. The Maroons crowd, they're happy. They can feel this one going down to the wire, to the finale in Sydney. Darren Lockyer down on the ground. Yeah, Cameron, mate, you talked about the uh, getting away at a good start tonight. It was near perfect tonight. Oh, I was lucky. We uh, got a few errors in the back half of that first 40, but... Um... Really pleased with the boys' attitude from the start, mate. Play with a lot of intensity. Well done, thanks. Thank you, Darren. Coming up in Holden half time, Cameron Williams joined by Peter Sterling, Paul Horton, Gordon Tallis. They'll take us through the first half highlights. What a half for Queensland. Plus the expert views of Darren Lockyer and uh, Andrew Johns from the sideline. That is up next on Wide World of Sports, bringing you Holden State of Origin, Game 2, live in the Nine Win and NBN Networks across Australia. This very bright light in the sky above Suncorp Stadium, which has been lit by these Queensland Rugby League stars and champions in the first 40 minutes of Origin 2 that for Holden. The, that was the moon, right? New South Wales on their way back was Rob Farrow leading them out, playing with that, I guess it's a hairline fracture of the cheekbone. Certainly couldn't be much more substantial than that, I would hope. Down 14-0 then, and you've heard the summary at half-time from the, the people that know the game. Sam Flyday got the first try at the second minute, and it really wasn't unexpected, I think. Everybody in a blue jumper knew they were going to be coming to get them. And then 15 minutes later, Darius Boyd scored another try. That man, Andrew Fafida, 
really injected some power into the game with his entry. And of course, it's the Fafitas that are going to make it possible for the Jennings to show their blistering speed and do the things that Boyd has been able to do. For Queensland. The big men rolling forward, the six and the seven, with time and space to move. Pretty much sums it up. It's a simple game, really. Thurston with three goals in the match. He's 16 behind Mal for the most points scored in origin ever. Cameron Smith and Billy Slater both on camera there for a moment. They both turned 30 in a very highly documented birthday party, which attracted the luminaries of rugby league, including the coach. Second half of Origin 2 for Holden. Are they to continue into this tournament to put their crown on the line in Sydney as Fafina is handed the ball by New South Wales to bring it back and then be taken back by three of the Queenslanders, including Justin Hodges, at the front. This is Anthony Watmire. Merrin. Yeah, the record will show if you examine them that Queensland seldom lead at half time and get run down. That's a nice ball out the back there from Robbie Farrer. And it's gone along the line out to Josh Dugan. And Dugan showing the sideline, but was able to surrender. And uh, Inglis tried to shuttle him across the sideline, but Dugan really put the spikes in. Now, Farrah's kick is charged down. Cherry Evans gets a lovely bounce. Tackle me at one. Daily Cherry Evans to play the ball now. For Cameron Smith. And now for Matt Gillett. Tackle to Andrew. Andrew just down. Scott. Still no. Josh Papali. Still no Josh Reynolds. Here's Terry Evans, now Thurston in ball for Inglis. And eight metres out from the line. Played by Greg Inglis. Jonathan Thurston, back for Kronk, back again. And then Slater, out of a tackle. Jennings clamps the tackle of Maloney. Picked up and Tate, Tate going towards the line. Held there though by Hoffman. And changeover is ordered. Well, they held on there, New South Wales, but I can't fathom why Robbie Farrell would be kicking in general play if not from dummy half when you have James Maloney and Mitchell Pearce in the side. Whereas then again now, driving in defence, making it difficult for the Blues to come out. What more complaining? Merrin. Just beyond that 10 metre line down his end of the ground for Fita. Attracting Gillette and Tio. Oh, Dugan! Farrah up to the 30 metre line, so they're, they're battering their way to freedom. Five tackles gone, and Pierce kicks, bounces. Lovely for Boyd. Slater's with him. Josh Morris down the ground quickly with Luke Lewis stemming the carry back. Greg Inglis. Slater one handed. Cherry Evans. Just on their own side of halfway. Not now they're not. Here is McQueen. Maybe not as thick set, but. Chris McQueen hits the ball up in this playing strip. It must be Brad Thorne to some degree. Plenty of game for the Maroons. Thurston with a dummy, not bought by Fafita. Doesn't have any regard for names. Andrew, here's Dugan again. Oh, lovely take. A couple of times in the air, he's looked almost.
most artistic. Jennings. Farrah. What Mo? Ben For feeder again. Youthful exuberance, you might say. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Whenever you want to give it to me, I'm here. Lewis. Farrah. Loney to the halfway. Kick. Fielded by Slater. Immediately uses Tate. Mitchell, Mitchell, up now! Hold him, Brent! Hold, Brent, don't hold him! Crunk for Thurston. Ibris on the inside. And Lewis and Fafida oh, making oh, the Andrew, tackle. Andrew Royce Playing it for Cameron. He's the most experienced player out there, Cameron, with 29 games. Beside his name tonight is Justin Hodges. Not letting anybody down. Valuable stuff like this out from dummy half. Smith held by for feet at. Trent, let him off! Crunk. And he kicks and uh, coming up for the deep. And Dugan again, he's knocked on. That's what they were working for. That's what they got. Slater shrugging and uh, bobbing his way around. He played the ball eight metres out. But it's the start of a new set. Prompt for Gillett. Gillett is held five away. He'll play it back to Slater. And uh, out to Prompt. And then he dummies uh, an extravagant dummy to Tio. And he's wrestled down. Still space on the right. Maloney was the tackler. Then he pushes Prompt away. Referee said you're milking. Play the ball. First and for, and for Scott now. And Matthew That's Scott. Really line, line. Close to that line. Are they going in again? A high ball to Cronk. Then it's away to Jerry Evans. He puts a little kick in. Morris is there. And it will be line dropout time again. Well, right at the moment, the Blues are getting an origin legend, an origin lesson. Down in Sydney, the Blues led 14 0 at half time. And whatever Queensland were getting wrong down there in the 15-minute break, they rectified it and come out and won the second half 6-0. And the Blues really didn't put them to the sword. What you're seeing here tonight is that the Blues are down 14-0 at half time. They really haven't come up with an answer yet. And the Maroons are really trying to jam it to them. They want to beat them by 30 if they can. That's the lesson of origin. Queensland are not going to let New South Wales up easily here. Certainly not as easily as New South Wales let them up in Sydney. Gillard again. 15 out from the line, so here they come again. Maroon, Marauders, and they went up fast, and Boyd, Boyd has hurt them. He's hurt them again. Darius Boyd. Klein, let him look at it. He thinks it's a try. A double for Boyd tonight. Well, Jonathan Thurston was celebrating whilst Darius Boyd still had 10 metres to run. He knew the quality of the pass was deserving of a try. And again, New South Wales defence, Nathan Merritt rushing in on Greg Inglis. Only had eyes for Inglis. And, well, you would think that momentum has got the ball there. Well, they fell off him anyway, Peter. He could have uh, got up and run again if he wanted to, but it's important that he's got hold of the ball all the way, which I believe he has. That's on the line. That is brilliant from Queensland. It is absolutely scintillating from Jonathan Thurston. And as I said just before that try, Queensland are giving the Blues an origin, leg an origin lesson. Well, momentum took him across, but as Gus said, rightly so, the defenders fall off so he can improve the position of the football. Darius Boyd is a try-scoring wizard. Second of the night for Darius Boyd.
try scoring as I said wizard Darius Boyd from I think Mudgery Bar that's his 12th origin try two of them tonight in his 16th origin game left the Broncos went to the Dragons with Wayne Bennett then he went to Newcastle with Wayne Bennett and here's Thurston who gave him that beautiful ball hitting the upright and bouncing away so the chance for 20 goes begging it's 18 nil after 49 Wally Lewis We're talking about an ability to replay Jonathan Thurston did it wonderfully on this occasion take a look at the bottom right hand side of your screen after getting the pass away he's already celebrating he knows he's thrown a wonderful pass there it is the right hand pumping into the air providing a wonderful opportunity for Darius Boyd on the Harvey Norman replay so the Blues take us into the next period of this game and Matt Scott brings it back and he unloads it will be play on Scott uh, getting rid of Paul uh, Greg Bird quite annoyed by Boyd's persistence in the tackle 10 meters away from the Queensland line and Josh Reynolds is into origin for the first time now it's with Dugan to play the ball back to Josh Reynolds now to Trent Merrin Merrin shouldering his way driving towards the line Reynolds now for Pierce Lewis what a tackle by Inglis conventional tackle snapped his legs from under him long ball Pierce steps left foot and is taken to ground five goals Josh Reynolds again to dummy half and Maloney wants it this time. Maloney is looking for Jennings. It goes to Cronk for Queensland. Tate. Tate away from, away from Reynolds. Away from Merrin. Down to the 30 metre line. What a run. Age proving no barrier nor injury to Brent Tate. At 31 years of age. Sloppy play the ball by Hodges. It'll be a knock on. And Papali's about to make his origin debut. A young man who through the finals last year, Canberra v Cronulla, worried the living daylights out of Paul Gallen. That's a nice time for him to be coming on, leading 18-0. Maloney had to get that ball into the end goal. You know, it's an alarming stat that the Roosters this Let's year, go. despite their lofty position the on the ladder, with Pierce and Maloney, they've only mate. forced 12 line Just dropouts all go. year. That's the least what number in the whole league, in the whole Ben's NRL. Out. The two New South Wales halves just can't seem to put pressure or build pressure on an opposition by forcing line dropouts. Here's Lewis. And Lewis! performance in game one he's injured we've got a little bit of a crusher over the top here I think accidentally I think it comes down on the back of his neck and he's got a little bit of a burner one time we'll go out and have a look at him he sort of falls awkwardly and someone falls on the back of his neck see there he just got a little bit of a crush when the 16 came across Matt Gillett. He looked as though he got a little bit of a burn in that left shoulder. It was an incisive run straight up the middle. They need a try here in New South Wales. If not, they've got to force a line dropout. They've got to get the tackle count up with the Queenslanders. Second tackle. Reynolds. Now for Gallon and a sweep around the back for Maloney. 12 out. Reynolds has taken the place of Farrer. Hoffman. Gallon. Short. Away to Merrin. So five tackles gone for New South Wales. They absolutely need something here. Pierce put the kick in. Failed it beautifully by Slater. Hard work. 
Well, let me put it to you, Mitchell <laughs> Pearce. Everybody, they, they might want to throw up, but they know the repercussions. Time drop. Mitchell. I'm not quite sure why Mitchell Pearce wanted to hang on to the fullback, Billy Slater, for so long. It's got something to do with that blood, I'm sure, on his face. He's pointing to that. Well, gee, he did well to get into the position, Billy Slater, raced across. His ability to be able to follow play across and deny, have a look at that, raced across 20, 25 metres to be able to take the ball away from the Blues. Well, well he'll get penalised, the seven, surely. I can't see anything that my... And Pierce keeps pointing at his... See this? He, he keeps pointing at the blood. That wasn't nice. Oh, that's he's throwing the elbow back there. Got got an elbow top. But I think Tears is the instigator. Probably frustrated that he didn't get the ball into the in goal again, that Slater had picked it off. He's got a cut because I'm sure Slater has hit him over the top, but Slater has responded to something else. Okay, the penalty is going to go against Billy. He struck out, made contact with the head with the elbow. That's a penalty. Okay. We're talking about this incident here, that's a penalty. Hey, Cameron, that was ruled on it. And that's on report as well, it appeared, that the, the signal made. Ash, Ash. some of the arms, that's... Yeah, what I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it'll be on report. Here's a chance for the Blues now. They need to get this. So, 18-0. Desperate times for New South Wales. You don't get too many of these opportunities. Josh Reynolds and the 16 jumper, and he's barreled down by Queensland. Papali was the main man. Now Merrin. Merrin has had a sight of the line three or four times. Space out wide. Now it's around the corner from Gallon, and that's gone back to Dugan. Dugan out here to Morris. Morris gets it away. The Blues. No. It's been ordered back to the 20 metre line. In a touch. In goal. Thurston is rushing out. Officials in position. Word New South Wales back to 10. Now some punches. Trent Merrill now it's exploded. Origin 2 has really erupted now. Three different clumps of players go in different directions. Did Merrin throw a punch? I, I didn't see one. <laughs> you don't think it was a punch? <laughs> Everybody wanted... Gallon was offended by the fact that he was in a tackle when he was pulled away by a Queenslander. Well, now. Well, the only question is, did any Queenslander throw one? Because Merrin goes to the bin. Brent Tate doesn't. He covers up. Possibly Hodges. Well, I don't think Hodges threw one. But he was watching out the corner of his eye because Greg Bird was racing in. Well, Merrin's he goes for 10. It's... It's well, if they enforce the edict, he does, yeah. It's now if there's a domino effect with anybody else. Well, they're making their feelings pretty well known. <laughs> Up in the bleachers. Let's go! Hodges! Justin Hodges! And Brent Tate! Hang on a second, what's going on here? Look at the eyes of Justin Hodges. Hey, you both come in there, got involved. Hey, Ten minutes in the bin. Brent Tate didn't do anything. Oh, turn it up. Video has reviewed it. You're in the bin. Video has reviewed it. Justin, this is wrong, mate. Well, what did Brent Tate do? Apart from pull Paul Gallon. Check Merrim. And Greg Bird. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I say a word here? 
And Greg Bird! Okay, there is no need for you. You're the one who started it. So the penalty is going to go against you for the initial punch. He's pushed. Ten, ten minutes in the bit. Well, let me clarify this for you. Merrin's gone for punching. The others have come in to the, if you like, the brawl unnecessarily. They've come from a distance to get involved. That's why they're gone to the bin. I think Brent Tate's been charged with headbutting somebody's fist. Three of them have gone to the bin for coming from a, a distance away. Andrew on the sideline. No, I know they changed the rules and you're not supposed to throw a punch, but this is our biggest spectacle. Sending blokes to the bin for that. I, I just can't believe it. It's ridiculous. Well, we now have Arsenal versus Manchester United. Shot 11 on 11. Oh, it's a massive, massive, massive overreaction. That's what it is. I agree with you, Gus, there. This is a contact sport. You're playing for a State of Origin series. It could be up for grabs. They were all particularly restrained. Here we go. So it's out with Crock now. And he gives the ball back to Nate Miles, who will play the ball on the 10-metre line. Keep in mind, it's 11 on 11. And Smith to Crock. And Crock is pulled down by Melbourne teammate Hoffman and also Maloney. Smith to Papali. Young New Zealander came to reside on the Gold Coast at about five years of age. English is waiting. Now Kronk goes across towards Greg. GI goes up, he'll score, will he? Does he get it down? Does he does? I think he did. Try number 15. The most kept of all try scorers. It's another try for Greg Inglis. Well, he's had more involvement tonight, Greg Inglis, and this time Cooper Cronk kicks to the difficult area of the field to defend against the kick, and Greg Inglis, with his great athletic ability, climbs high. Well, there he is, the man that really makes an art form of scoring tries. At origin level, that's number 15. He is the leader of try scoring in origin. And Wally Lewis, he picked it. He picked it well in advance. You would have heard his voice, his familiar voice, saying, "English is ready. English is there. Now for Thirsty, bringing it around beautifully. Another two for John. And another two for Queensland. Well, I saw Greg Inglis last night at the jersey presentation. This is his 20th game for Queensland, which puts him in a bit of an elite club. And I don't think I've ever seen him more determined to achieve success. The athleticism of this man on the Harvey Norman replay is absolutely wonderful. What an athlete. So the try for Inglis came with 11 on 11. I think you could rightly call it an historic period of an origin game. Papali. Nothing wrong with the few handles he's had in a very limited time. First and away to McQueen now. Some of the names here tonight that are going to be the next generation of Queensland 
representatives, I'm sure, Papali, McQueen, Cherry Evans. Uh, was that placed in a dangerous position? It's gone to Cronk and gone back to Thurston, then back to Slater, back on the inside. James makes the tackle. 24-0 as Smith kicks to his extreme right. But Maloney it is that spoils the party. Well, if McQueen has a hint of Brad Thorne in him, there's a little bit of Carl Webb around Josh Papali as well. Brett Morris just outside his own 20-metre line, playing it to Michael Jennings. Here is Ryan Hoffman. So I think when it's 11 on 11 like this, what they've got to do is get their fast men to dummy half, two or three in a row, and really bend back and try and suck in the Queensland defenders. Just getting it up like this won't get the job done. See this, they'll even get gang tackled and slowed down. The fast men have got to get in there and do something. Reynolds trying to get a penalty from a marker who was neither a marker nor back 10. Chris McQueen eventually backed off, played by Reynolds on the halfway line. Now Maloney, and he kicks down towards Boyd. Here's Inglis again now. Well, you don't often enjoy much about your opposition's game plan, but I've got to say, New South Wales kicking tonight has been deplorable. Kicking down the throats of the Queenslanders all night. Is there an arm involved in that tackle by Reynolds or was it a shoulder? Under the definition. Now to Kronk and he goes shortish to Corey Parker. I think the defence thought he was going to go longer out to Thurston. To the short side now for Thurston. And here is Tio taking it 15 metres out from the Blues line. Smith it is, he's got plenty of numbers on the blind side. And that's the last, it's a turnover. Stand up, Cameron. Easy, guys. Well, it's still not a bad place to give your opposition the ball. James, the same way into the field. 19 minutes left on the clock. Four tries, 24 nil the difference. And New South Wales persevering again, just hitting it up one out here. Reynolds. Standing and off, loading to Maloney, across to Pierce. Now to Lewis, got the ball away in the tackle of Thurston. Now Morris steps and puts on the accelerator. He's going to unload, he does, and Pierce is away. He's outside the 40 metre line, they're coming from behind. And they'll wrap him up, Pierce. Stop, 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 stand down. 40 metres out from the Queensland line, play back for Merritt. Then it's gone from Dugan, gone to Maloney, long to Jennings. Jennings, oh, oh boy! Boyd hit him and the ball spewed out the front. Well, they had them shot there, New South Wales. Queensland were out of numbers and out of breath, to be honest. And the Blues stuffed it. 24-0, four tries to nil, and there are the members of the Sin Bin fraternity with the new rule being applied for the first time in origin tonight. Well, I can't believe that Tate and Hodges ended up in the Sin Bin. I can sort of understand Merrin because they said they were going to do it. But the rest of it was just complete overkill. Here's Smith. Thurston, Slater, Slater's after this, Dugan's underneath it with Slater, and the ball has been knocked off. Last tackle. See, by comparison tonight, 
the Queensland kicking game is on the money every time. It finds the end goal, or the bombs come down a yard out from the try line. There's people there to compete for it. It's been a footballing lesson. You can't call it anything else. The Blues knew that the opening onslaught was coming, but were powerless to stop it. And Thurston and Cronk and Smith are just grinding them into the ground. That's against Smith for a second dig at Gallon. And as the players come back on, unfortunately, this is going to be a talking point after the game again. The players actually showed remarkable restraint in the situation. And you have to ask what harm was done, except for the spectacle, by having four players off. And to our brand. Now for Watmo. Gets it out the back. It's gone away from Merrin. It's found Bird. And Greg Bird to play the ball. Keep back, keep back, Just outside the 20 metre line. Farrah's back at dummy half. Here's Merrin. And there's the ball out the back. Picked up by Watmo. Luckily, then it might have been knocked on, was it, by Dugan? Or did it come off the chest? Or did it come off him at all? Let's race it backwards. Okay, so it's come away now to Watmo, and Watmo looking very really close to the line. Back to 24-0, 16 to go. Five gone. Fractions away from the try line. Pierce has kicked, and down into the end goal, it's with uh, that man again. Darius Boyd. Gee, English played a good role there. The ball was perfectly positioned. He jumped high to deny a fair catch at the ball from the Blues. Miles. Tate. Hodges. 12 metres on the home side of halfway. And uh, Smith it is that kicks down the ground for Merritt. And now for Dugan. He's inside the 30 metre line. Merritt with it now. Got a ball away. Well done, Pierce. Try, move. Hey, Chase Cameron. Gotta wait, wait there, wait. There's very few gaps presenting themselves in this Queensland attack, uh, this Queensland defence, I should say. New South Wales attack. It, it breaks down. It breaks down on both sides. In fact, there's a knock-on being ordered against Queensland. Yeah, they're saying the initial pass was played See, guys, out. Second over, lost one. New South Wales would have had an opportunity to pick it up and get six again and didn't do it. The clock very much against them. Here's your attendance tonight. 51,690. And as you go around this stadium, I would say it's probably 80%, 90% maroon. A scattering of blue here and there, but the Queenslanders have turned out in force tonight to support their team. And their team has not let them down. They've been brilliant. Well, you hardly would have thought that a champion team such as the one they've assembled over the last seven years is going to come away from a loss in Sydney and say, well, that's it, we've packed up our tent. As I said at the top of the telecast, it's been one fabulous sporting achievement in all of Australian sport. And uh, they can be mighty proud of it. And in three weeks' time, it's becoming more apparent they're going to go to Sydney to try and make it eight. Eight in a row. The Dragons, of course, in the Premiership, they did it 11 in a row. Pierce jammed up by Gillett. And the ball going back down to Dugan. Yes, yeah, sir. 
knock on occurred back and no advantage was gained by making Dugan play the ball on the halfway. So this is part of the origin legend, uh, lesson too. 12 minutes to go, they lead 24 to nil, but still the Maroon defence is coming forward. Cast your mind back to game one in Sydney. Go. Second all is locked by. When New South Wales led in the second half, but started to get submissive, started to allow Queensland to come to them. There's, there's, there's little lessons being learned here all the time, dished out by the Queenslanders. Do a good. Into the game, Jennings. 20 metres out. And Morris to give to Watmo, to give to Bird, and Bird taking the play towards the centre of the ground. Here is Pierce to the line and holding it back and got the ball then the gallon has gone away and a chance for Maloney I think it is. Spice out wide. Watmo, Farrah, Pierce, Lewis and here is Josh Morris and now Nathan Merritt. And he steps away from his sideline and plays the ball. Goes away from Josh Morris to Luke Lewis. And he goes long, and it's out then to Paul Gallen, back on the inside for Farrell, who kicks for his left winger, and Brett Morris has scored for the Blues. Brett Morris scores. Just waiting on Shane Hayes, he points to the spot. Well, it did appear to be the only way New South Wales were going to score down in this area. The sliding defence of Queensland had been extremely effective. They haven't got many kicks right tonight, but Robbie Farrah had a look and dogged it over behind Brent Tate and Brent Morris regathers. So people watching our game in all parts of uh, the globe. State of Origin 2. Here in Brisbane tonight, and Origin 3 goes to Sydney in three weeks' time. Here's the kick from the sideline to convert the first try of New South Wales, and it's Maloney who does the honours. The blue crown for the first time tonight gets a little bit of joy. Harvey Norman replay. Farrah summed it up very quickly and Brett Morris taking the try. It wasn't easy for Brett Morris either. It wasn't a kind bounce for him. Actually stayed low and accelerated. But very good reaction Stay time. We spoke about Darius Boyd being a, a wonderful finisher. So to that man. As Cameron Smith gets us underway inside the final ten. Gallon. Gallon is taken by Miles. South Sydney up against Canberra on Friday night. It's our Friday night feature game at half past seven. Rabbitohs and Raiders. There's Farrah kicking out of dummy half. Down to Slater. Slater taken by Jennings and Morris on the Blues' left edge. Now for Tate. And they're throwing it long. And with Gay abandoned, it's Thurston taken by Josh Morris. Now for Tate. After throwing that pass, I think he felt he owed the team. He, he raced over to make sure it took the next hit up. Parker bumping away, bumping away again before Jennings makes the tackle. He's been outstanding, Corey Parker. Now Miles. I couldn't agree more, Gus. He's been close to the best player on the paddock. Absolutely magnificent display. Crop with a little kick through, looking for Slater. Slater's coming fast from the deep. There's no knock on that I saw there. It's with merit now for the Blues. So if there was a touch, the advantage applies to New South Wales. Brett Morris inside his own 30 metre line. Just under eight minutes of the game to go. Aaron Woods. Farrah. Out to Pierce and away to Lewis and back. It might have
might have got a deflection, it did. And it's with Dugan. So the tackle count has restarted. And Dugan tackled on the 40 metre line. He's been he's been good tonight, Josh Dugan. Yeah, he's put one bomb, but outside of that, he's caught the battering, but he's kept coming for more and been very evasive. Mitchell Pierce double pumping and then dropping it onto his right hip for Josh Morris in four. Here's Gallant. There's the, the chance around the crowd. Queenslander, they say. Pierce on to Josh Morris. And he's picked up and driven down by Greg Inglis. Farrah. Farrah neat. Dugan high. Hands. Who owns them? That's the question. He's pointing to the upright, so it's a line dropout. And we marvel at the athleticism and the skill and the talent and the speed of Greg Inglis. The outstanding aspect of his game for me tonight, apart from being more heavily involved, has been his aggression. He's really got up and, and he's wanted to hurt the opposition defensively. He's, he's exuded passion tonight and has come out in an aggressive form. As we said before the game, Sturlo, that he was in that mood last night after being awarded that uh, that jersey for 20 origins. He was in a mood that I've never seen him before. Here's Gallon taking the ball back from the line dropout. And the Queenslanders win assembled behind the uprights down at the southern end. They were encouraging the crowd to raise their voices. To raise their voices to this wonderful team. Who have really made the, the exclamation tonight. You might have thought you had us in a corner. Well, we've weaved out of that. We're not going anywhere, not just yet anywhere. Scott. More desire there, right inside the final six minutes now, and, and the ball hit the ground. Cameron Smith was the first on it. Parker. Slater. Slater knocked on by Tate. Farrah. Maloney. Miles. And then it's a penalty to New South Wales against Scott. Who came in and then basically took up residence in the tackle. So Jennings has taken across the line. Movement at all times. We're only two thirds of the way through the series, and there's still time for New South Wales to score a try. And just make a little bit of a statement about themselves. They want to play for the full 80 minutes, but sort of meekly surrendering possession here, just getting bundled out into touch at this stage of the game. Is virtually conceding to your opponent. The maroon jerseys that keep turning up. Look at the the embrace there of a job well done. They keep coming forward in defence. They're diving on loose balls. Corey, hands it on that. That's that's Why origin for you. The decider, three weeks Out. from tonight. Wednesday, July 17, live and exclusive around the Nine Network. What a massive game it's going to be. We came here tonight thinking this might well be the decider. But no, the Maroons had a different idea. Gallant back on the benches. So you'll see that uh, match, as I said, right around the globe here in Australia on WIN, NBN, and on Impaja. Into the uh, far reaches of uh, Australia. Out to the remote areas. Here's Slater back on the inside. And he's knocked on. See that? Still trying to score points. Still coming up with little plays. Testing New South Wales' honesty in defence. To the Blues' credit, they came up with the tackle there. But they're just absolutely relentless, the Maroons. Peter, can you look up Corey Tucker's stats there on the screen? What, what's he come up with tonight? It must be enormous. 16 tackles, 17 hit-ups, okay, plenty of offloads in there as well. 
find them Wally, in. an outstanding coaching performance tonight from Noel Meninga. He, he came here with plans in a few different areas and carried it out beautifully. He actually goes past Wayne Bennett tonight in coaching Queensland more than any other person. And in the decider will equal Phil Gould being in charge in the most amount of games. That will be 24. But tonight, he came with a plan. And like the A-team, you love it when it comes together. On the board for that, he remained remarkably calm as the ball pops up into Queensland's hands. It'll make Mel happy. Well, just now the big step coming back in behind the play. The ball tackled high by Woods. Not really fair for a front rower having. This man coming at you with his footwork. A clumsy effort there late in the game from the young prop on Dubu. Only two minutes to go. New South Wales have got to steal themselves and say no more. You know, it's just another little test here and say so we're not going to concede a soft try at the back end. Let's grind it right out for the 80 minutes. You know Queensland will. They take the free kick 25 away from the line. And the balls come loose and it's gone to Smith and for Fita. For Fita deals with him and Hodges. Hodges and takes. They come across more of a I guess a peacemaker like they probably were earlier tonight. Yeah, it's a penalty for Fafita just roughing up Cameron Smith unnecessarily. No, 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 you're not. Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. Why not? Because I so now they're going to take a kick for goal. Well, that takes the injuries out of it. What they'll do is wear down the clock here. They'll be last to score. They're high fiving. They're celebrating. The crowd will get on its feet. And Ronnie Farrow is wasting his time at the moment talking to the referee. The Queenslanders waiting on their fans to find voice. They're standing and applauding. And this will be an exclamation point on their victory here tonight when Jonathan Thurston puts it between the posts. Look at these, these crowd shots you're seeing. They're of the people closest to the perimeter fencing, but right up in the bleachers, way up high, where you normally can find some vacant seats. And I guess it's understandable. They came here with their crown very much on the line. Not one has left the scene of this footballing lesson I don't think there's any other way of describing it really 24 to 6 in response to their 14-6 loss three weeks ago Thurston another two on his tally the siren it's official Queensland that continue on into Sydney when we will have the decider with a capital D. Queensland tonight defeating New South Wales 26 to 6.